hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so this particular video is regarding a fellowship named inspire which dst that is department of science and technology gives and it's apart from your ugc net or csir net fellowship so it's one of the best way uh, to pursue your research without qualifying any of these uh, like uh, uh, csir or J gate or any other exam right uh, but the benefits are equivalent so i'm going to talk about this particular fellowship because the application form has been announced by DST this year and uh, you, if you are eligible for this, you can apply for this. So watch this video very carefully because I am going to talk about the advertisement which they have given. Uh, the other part of this, I will make a video separately that what are the benefits of Inspire Fellowship, what are the demerits of this. So all those other things I am going to cover in a separate video. But for today's video, we will talk about the advertisement which they have given and it will make you understand that whether you are eligible for this or not. How you, if you are eligible, then how you can apply for this and all the other benefits of getting Inspire Fellowship, right? So that's what this video is going to be all about. So now without wasting any time, let's continue with our video. All right, so this is the website of uh, DST or online inspire.uv.in. I'll give you the link for this particular website in the description of this video. What you have to do is you have to come to this particular column, which is over here on the left hand side and you have to come to this fellowship section, which is in yellow color. Just click over here and here you will see the first link, which says call for application under inspire fellowship 2021. Now, once you click on this, you will get a notification to download this and to save this and to see this particular pdf right all the other information are there in the pdf so let's look upon the pdf that what exactly it says i'll give you the link to download the pdf directly as well so that it becomes easy for you to download it and to read it on your own all right now watch very carefully because each and every things are very important in the upcoming part of the video all right so once you download the pdf this is how it looks so innovation in science pursuit for inspired research that's what in short form is called inspire and uh, this is a scheme and it is under uh, like a component under inspire scheme right and it is said that it's a call for application under inspire fellowship 2021 now here if you look it says department of science and technology which is dst has taken several pioneering initiatives for attracting meritorious students to study basic and natural sciences at college and university level and to pursue research careers in both basic and applied sciences areas under including engineering, medicine, agriculture and veterinary science to various components under INSPIRE. So understand that whatever I am going to talk about in this video will only deal with the research part of it, okay? which will deal, deal with the PhD and research things and it is not going to talk about the INSPIRE fellowship which you get after 12th grade because that is also one part of INSPIRE fellowship which I am not going to discuss that is inspire fellowship for uh, SHE that is a, a scholarship for higher education that's a different thing right so I am not going to talk about that I am going to talk about that about inspire fellowship for your PhD or inspire fellowship for the research so this application is for that only that's what we are going to discuss so this inspire offers a standing opportunity for pursuing doctoral research at any recognized university or institute in India through fellowship at the same level of national eligibility test that is net qualified candidates that means if someone has qualified net or jrf uh, the uh, the eligibility whatever he has gained or whatever he uh, the level he is so the inspire fellow is also going to be at the same level right so that's the beauty of this particular fellowship now inspire fellowship component of inspire program is focused on attraction of students to pursue re regular doctoral degree in basic and applied sciences including engineering, medicine, agricultural, agriculture, veterinary, pharmacy, etc. after their master's degree in science, applied science, engineering or bachelor's uh, slash master's degree in medicine. So that's what it means that this particular fellowship is provided to those candidates who want to do research after completing their master's, okay, after completing their master's degree in science or after completing their master's degree in applied science or engineering or bachelor's degree in medicine. Now applications are, applications are invited for the year 2021 
from the eligible candidates within the age group of 22 to 27 years. So this is the age group which they have given. So this is the age eligibility for this. So if you fall under this particular age, then that means uh, you have passed one of the eligibility criteria. Now under the Inspire Fellowship component for Inspiring Scheme of DST through the web portal, this is the website on which you have to apply. So let's come back over here. Let's talk about the eligibility. All right. So there are three eligibilities. The first eligibility is for the Inspire Scholars. Now who are Inspire Scholars? Let me first of all tell you that Inspire Scholars are those who are already getting like those who are already already getting this Inspire Fellowship. Okay, Those who are already getting this Inspire Fellowship and these generally are those students who are getting Inspire Fellowship since their bachelors based upon their marks in 12th class and that is uh, a scheme of Inspire which is called as SHE that is scholarship for higher education. So they are under that like they are enrolled under that and they are also eligible to apply for this particular uh, fellowship that means if they are already an Inspire fellow and they want to pursue further research or further studies in PhD or want to do research then they can apply. So Inspire scholars they are called Inspire scholars. Okay? So if an Inspire scholar is having minimum 70% marks or CGPA equivalent in the aggregate at MSc or integrated MS MSc level. So the Inspire fellow can only apply if he has got 70% marks or more than that. If you are not an Inspire scholar still like if you are not getting the Inspire fellowship since your bachelor's or something then you don't fall under this eligibility. Okay, This is only for those who are already Inspire scholars. I told you who are Inspire scholars right. Okay, Now if you are not an Inspire scholar then in that case first rank holder at university level examination in postgraduate level exam. So if you are one who has scored the rank one in your MSc or in, in your master's or in the postgraduate exam, uh, if you have done postgraduate in basic sciences or applied sciences including engineering, pharmacy, agricultural science, veterinary science from any recognized university and academic institute excluding autonomous college. So if you are from a uh, autonomous college in that case you will be excluded. In that case you cannot apply but if you fall under any university or if you have done your PG that means post graduation from any university or any academic institution and if you have scored first rank over there in that case you are eligible to apply for this all right or in uh, or there is one more uh, criteria that is if you are a first rank holder at university level exam okay in graduate postgraduate degree in medicine only so this is for those who have done graduate or postgraduate degree in medicine only. Okay. Now try to understand that who are not eligible for this particular fellowship. They have made it very clear in this para that who are not eligible for this. So please note that students who are first rank holders in college including autonomous college examination have obtained degree through distance education mode and are first rank holder in any specialization given in MSc. Uh, second or last year are not eligible for this particular fellowship. So what does that mean? It does not mean that if you have got first rank you are eligible for this. If you have got first rank but you uh, have done your masters from some autonomous college then you are not eligible. If you have got first rank but you have done masters from some distance education then also you are not eligible and if you have got rank 1 but there is some specialization in your master's final year or in the last year of master's in that case also you are not eligible for this particular Inspire Fellowship. Make sure that they have very clearly stated it. Candidates who are Indian citizen and have acquired their eligibility for Inspire Fellowship during the year 2020-2021 are eligible to apply. So in case if you don't fall under any of the category which is mentioned in this paragraph and if you fall under these above categories and if you fulfill these eligibility criteria then you can apply for this particular fellowship. Now let's talk about what are the other things. So the student who have already enjoying senior research fellow uh, fellowship or higher position in any project or otherwise are not eligible to apply for this. So understand that those who are already enrolled in some research and uh, they have become uh, SRF like that you become after completing two years of your research. So in case if you are in the research and if you have converted your JRF to SRF in that case you are not eligible to apply for this and uh, merely having the eligibility does not guarantee uh, the offer of Inspire Fellow. Okay? Finally 
selected student for inspire fellowship against the previous advertisement need not to apply again so those who have already been selected they don't have to apply again okay now let's talk about the emoluments so what are the fellowship amount what is the uh, like what are the uh, like terms and condition regarding it let's talk about that so the fellowship amount under inspire fellowship is as per government of india norms of fellowship junior research fellowship slash senior research fellowship and research grant to the candidate that means you are going to get equivalent amount what a junior research fellowship or a, what a junior research fellow gets that is currently 31000 per month okay so that's what you get if you are selected as an inspire fellow these are the provision of uh, there is a provision of 1000 inspire fellowship to be offered to eligible students against inspire fellowship 2021 call and each fellowship is tenable for tenable for maximum period of 5 years or the completion of their phd degree that means ki they are going to give total of 1000 fellowship that means 1000 students are going to be selected throughout india and now one more important thing that the fellowship will be provided to you for maximum of 5 five years now in case if your phd exceeds 5 year let's say your your phd exceeds to 6 year in that case you will get fellowship only for the first five uh, for the five years you are not going to get the fellowship for the sixth year okay similarly if let's say your uh, your phd completes or it get completed a year before uh, or let's say you complete your phd in four years itself then you will get fellowship only for the four year they are not going to give you for one more extra year okay so whatever is uh, earlier whichever is earlier you will be provided for that so maximum of five years or the day at or the date at which you are going to complete your phd degree so whichever is earlier for that time the fellowship shall not be available to pursue msc or mphil or mtech courses while pursuing integrated msc phd or mphil phd or mtech phd courses okay so this fellowship if let's say you have you are enrolled into integrated msc phd in that case you will not be given like you will not be allowed to get the fellowship during you are doing that msc part so integrated msc phd will be like let's say five year course for first year you are doing msc and for the rest four year do, you are doing phd so for the first one year you won't get this fellowship you will get this fellowship when your uh, phd will start similarly if you are doing your uh, integrated mphil phd so you won't get the fellowship for the mphil part similarly if you are doing mtech phd integrated mtech phd so you will not get fellowship during the mtech part you will get phd during the no, sorry you you will get the fellowship during the phd part so i hope this is clear that when and up to what time you are going to get Now, how you can apply for this? So, interested and eligible students, they must apply and submit their application with all essential documents through online mode only. So, you have to apply through online mode only, and application are to be submitted online on Inspire web portal. This is the website, and those interested in submitting application have to register at this portal and submit the application form. Now, please read the guidelines available on the portal carefully before submitting the application form. this web portal will be open from 1st march till 31st march and uh, that's what it is okay so for uh, for the further inquiries regarding inspire fellowship you can send email on this particular email id which is provided to you this is the help desk or you can call on these numbers okay so you can call them if you have any query now let's talk about that what are documents which are required uh, along with your application so um, for the online application process you are going to require a passport size photograph then you are going to be requiring your class 10th mark sheet and you need pdf form of that then whatever file type is there it's already mentioned on the screen mark sheet of the educational qualification like 12th ug pg program okay so whatever is there you have to uh, provide mark sheets of all of them first rank certificate now this thing you will get if you are rank 1 holder from your institute or from your university university will ask your university to provide that they will provide you first rank holder certificate and that you have to apply okay so in, it is for those who are not inspire scholars right for those who are not inspire scholars but they are rank 1 holder and they want to apply so for them it is uh, one you have to apply uh, appointment letter for them who are employed if already enrolled in phd so in the in case if you are already enrolled into phd then you need all these documents admission letter is issued by the universities in which you are already admitted and fee receipt of the phd admission cv of the phd supervisor and endorsement letter these things are uh, you need and detailed write up of the research proposal approved by the supervisor 
right so now this thing plays very important role okay i'll tell you about it so endorsement letter template is there on the website you can check it out you can download the template and make your own now if you are not enrolled in phd then in that case you need to uh, you need three choices of university or institute and supervisor so you need to make a choice of institute uh, universities and supervisors this thing you have to fill in the text box which will be given to you while filling the form and brief tentative write up uh, for the research proposal this also you have to fill in the box given to you so this is for those who are not enrolled into phd but they fulfill the other criteria so remember that whatever selection they are going to make whatever 1000 phd or whatever 1000 inspire fellow they are going to make the major part or the majority of the thing which they are going to look upon is your research proposal your research proposal plays a very important role in getting selected for this particular fellowship so write your research proposal very wisely try to be very comprehensive in there and try to uh, write it in a little professional way all right so last date for application is 31st of march 2022 and uh, then we have instructions for online filling form so general things are written again like online the exam uh, sorry the applications should be filled online mode only this is the website which i have already talked about the uh, application is starting from 1st of March, the end date is 31st of March and incomplete or wrongly filled up application uh, is not going to be or it's going to be rejected basically and applicants own valid and functional email ID must be provided during the login for this Inspire web portal. Application are uh, like applicants are advised to take print out of submitted application form and all those things are there, general things, general instructions are there and uh, do not submit more than one application form that's one thing which they have mentioned okay so this is all about this particular inspire fellowship it's a great opportunity especially if you fulfill the eligibility criteria okay i have made you guys understood about the eligibility criteria in case if there is any question about the uh, eligibility criteria i know it's quite confusing but i try to make it very simple over here because some people get confused with the 70 percent marks Remember that this 70% marks is only eligible if you are already an Inspire scholar. Otherwise, you don't need any 70% marks. If you are just a university rank one holder, that's enough for this. Okay. So this is all about this particular video. I hope you guys understood it. And I hope if you fulfill the eligibility criteria, you are going to apply for this fellowship. It's a very good opportunity and uh, you are going to get equal benefits with uh, other JRF students who are going to qualify the exam and then go for the fellowship right so do go for it do apply for this if you fall uh, like if you fulfill the eligibility criteria so that's all from my side guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one until then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csi ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes you have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an Academy Plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.